Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 17. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to model the relationship between multiplication and division. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can draw a number bond and write a division equation and a multiplication equation to represent your drawing. So remember that in multiplication, we have a factor times a factor equals a product. What part of this multiplication equation is the unknown? Well, we know that the first factor is the number of groups, and we have one, two, three, four circles. The second factor is the size of the groups, or how many in each row. The last number is the product, that is the total amount. So we are missing that second factor. It represents how many in each group. Let's skip count by fours to find how many in each group in this multiplication equation. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So four times six. Four times six equals 24. Notice how the number inside the circle is the same as the second factor. That tells us how many in each group. We have four groups of six. Let's skip count by fours to find how many groups in this multiplication equation. So we know that there are four in each group, but we need to know how many groups or how many legs will be on our number bond. Let's count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So the answer is six. One, two, three, four, five, six fours equals 24. What part of this multiplication equation is the unknown? The unknown is a factor. It represents how many groups. So we have six groups of four. Let's look at the factors as they relate to a division equation. So in division, the first number is how many in all, and that's the dividend. The second number is the number of groups. We call that the divisor. The final number is how many in each group. We call that number the quotient. What part of a division equation is the unknown in the number bond? So we know that there are 24 in all. We know that there are one, two, three, four groups. Four groups. We want to know the unknown, and that is in the place of the quotient. And we know that the quotient is always how many in each group. The unknown is the quotient. It represents how many in each group. 
Let's give count by fours to find how many in each group in this division equation. Are you ready? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. The answer is 6. So we know that how many in each group is 6. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Let's draw a number bond to represent both equations. So we know that this number bond will have a 20 at the top It will have four groups. And it will have five in each group. I drew that too small. This number bond will have a 20 at the top. and four groups with five in each group. Notice that they have the same number bond. Okay. Let's try this skill with a read, draw, write question. We'll do this one together. You'll need a piece of paper and a pencil or a dry, dry erase board, or you can use a Google Jam board. I will read the question aloud and we'll look for the most important information. So we're going to read, then we'll draw a picture to help solve the problem, and then we'll write an answer as a sentence. While I'm reading, I'm going to annotate or mark up the question, picking out the most important information. For their allowance, Mrs. Mackey gives $7 to each of her children. She gives $28 in all. How many children does she give money to for their allowance? So how many children? Draw a number bond and write division and multiplication equations to represent your drawing. Hmm, let's see, 28 in all. That means that's the largest number is going at the top of my number bond. $7 to each of her children. That means I know how many in each group, but I don't know how many groups. Let's go to our Jamboard. And you can do this with me if you have access to Google. If you need a link, look in the description box below, or you can just type jamboard.google.com. Remember, you can pause this video at any time to catch up and find materials. I'm going to press the, pl press the plus sign to open a new Jamboard and choose the pen tool, and I can choose the color I want to write with. I'm going to write with black. Now I need to go back to the question to be very precise about the information I'm taking. Let's look at it again. 28 in all, seven to each of her children. How many children does she give money to for their allowance? Well, I think we're gonna have to count by sevens to get to 28. Seven, 14, 21, 28. Now you can use any of your multiplication strategies. If you don't know your sevens, you could draw an array. You could use the distributive property to break it apart into smaller expressions. That's why it's really important to memorize your multiplication facts, or at least have some strategies. All right, so here's my number bond, 28 on top. And I said there were seven in each child. And I said seven times four equals 28. So my number bond should have four legs. So 
So four groups of seven. Four groups of seven equals 28. All right, let's look back at our question and see if we used all of the information that we were given. Yes, seven to each child, she gives 28 in all. How many children did she give money to for their allowance? We determined that was four children. Draw a number bond, we've done that. Now write division and multiplication equations to represent your drawing. Okay, I have a multiplication equation, but I don't have a division equation. So when I'm writing my division equation, I wanna start with the biggest number, how many in all? That would be 28. My divisor is the number of groups that I'm splitting 28 up into. That's one, two, three, four groups. And my quotient is how many in each group. And I see by my number bond that I have seven in each group. So my division equation is 28 divided by four equals seven. Okay, I think I've answered that. Now I just need to come up with some words to answer the question properly. So there's no, oh yes, the question is how many children does she give money to for their allowance? So I'm going to use words from the question to put in my answer. I'll say she gives allowance to four children. She gives allowance to four children. I know this because 28 divided by four equals seven. I used a number bond to solve. Okay, that's my nice juicy answer. It answers the question using words from the question, and it also uses math vocabulary that we've learned, such as number bond, to explain how I arrived at my solution. So that's my version of the answer. I'm going to check the answer key now. And remember, my answer may not look exactly like the number key, the answer key. It doesn't have to. Everyone will word it differently. The, the goal is to just do the very best you can, answer it as concisely, but with as much detail as you possibly can. That's the goal. Answer, Mrs. Mackey gives money to four children. I know this because seven times four equals 28 and 28 divided by four equals seven. Now it's time for you to practice the skill on your own with a read, draw, write question. I will read the question to you. Then you will pause the video and you will read it again, looking for the most important information. You will have your paper and pencil ready, or you can work in a jam board or on a whiteboard, whatever you choose to work with or whatever tools that you have available to you. You will do the very best you can to work through the read, draw, write process and find your answer. Then when you're ready, when you've done your very best, you look in the description box below and you'll see the answer. You'll want to compare what you did with what I wrote and it should be very close. Okay. Kaylee serves three potatoes on a plate for each member of her family. She has four people in her family. How many potatoes does Kaylee serve altogether? Draw a number bond to show how Kaylee divided the potatoes among the people in her family. Then write a multiplication and division equation. Now go do your very best and I will see you in the next video.